Hey, welcome everyone to another edition of my online workout series. This is a strength training program. Uh, if this is your first time here, please check with the doctor before you start any exercise program. And again, if this is your first time here, I'll let you know that we start each exercise program pretty much the same warm up. I refer to it as our dinner bell. So let's get going and let's get our warm up in place. Everybody, let's get up and let's start marching on the spot. You are completely in charge of your own intensity here. You can go fast, you can go slow, you can mix it up. The whole idea here is to get that heart rate going and wake up those muscles, getting them ready for our strength training program. So march it up. Now let's get our knees up and see if we can put an upper body twist into this. Now each exercise uh, we will do it twice, uh, 45 seconds on and 15 seconds off. Before we start each exercise I will cue you with some instruction and then I'll follow along with you. Let's come back to center and pull it back and kick it back. Really wake up all the muscles. And let's come back to center. Let's get our feet a little wider than shoulder width. Sit into this, get our hands up to fighting position, and let's have some fun with punching it out. Little short jabs, big long punches. And some undercuts. Wake up those obliques, tuck in that belly button. And now let's reach across, opening up the hips, opening up the back, nice and easy. And come back to center. Roll those shoulders back and down, keep those knees soft, hands to your side, and let's just swing and look over our shoulder each and every time. All right, our first exercise is gonna be a variation of the deadlift, which we have done before in other videos. Let me just get my timer ready here. So for this deadlift, you're only going to need one weight. And if you have a variety of weights, you can go a little heavier on this one. You're going to come into this split stance, not a lunge at all. Just one foot slightly in front of the other. Your knees are soft, holding the one weight you're going to fold at the waist and once your wrist passes your knee, you're going to pull it back up nice and tall, reset and repeat. Let's get ready to do this. I'm gonna start the timer, roll those shoulders back and down and let's go. Once the wrist passes the elbow, that's it. You don't need to go any further. And pull it back up with intention. Roll those shoulders back and down, reset. Let's get rolling. to a rest. Now let's do it on the other side. Again, roll those shoulders back and down, switch the weight, get into the staggered position. Let's get ready to go. Wait for the timer and down we go. Rest is important. Pull it back up. Full 
hold. Once the wrist passes the, uh, the knee, you pull it back up with intention. Fold and back up. And let's finish that off and bring it up. So let's work the upper body right now with a simple exercise that works the biceps, triceps, shoulders and back. It's called a shoulder tap. You're going to use both dumbbells. You can go a little lighter on this one if you want. Holding the weights to your side, you're going to bring it up and tap your shoulder. Now don't cheat. Don't stay up here. I want you to bring that arm all the way back down, alternating arms throughout. Let's get ready to go. Roll those shoulders back and down. And let's tap. Tap. Roll those shoulders back. Nice proud chest. Tuck in the chin. Keep the knees soft. All these instructions. I get it. Let's go. there come on and rest relax those shoulders roll it back soften the knees let's get ready to go I don't know about you guys but this 15 second rest seems a little longer today keep it up there. Keep it up. Maybe I'm going to add some music next time. See how that works. Sounds really quiet today. <laughs> and rest. Roll those shoulders back and down. We are now going to do the full deadlift. We're very similar to what we did in the first exercise. This time you're going to hold two weights in your hand. Again, you could go a little heavy here if you have a variety of dumbbells. And you're going to let your arms hang. It's not about the arms, folks. It's about the hips. And you're going to fold forward. And once your wrist past your knees, you're going to pull it back up with intention, just like the first one. Let's get ready to go here. Roll those shoulders back and down. Knees are soft. Let's go. Fold. And pull back up with intention. Reset. This isn't the type of exercise that you'd want to do quickly. Keep it up, let's go. shake it off let's do that one more time here roll them back soften those knees let the weight hang and let's get ready to go And as always, we will finish with a little bit of chair yoga. 
Try to improve our flexibility. Keep it up. Pull it up. One last time. Let's finish this off. Nice job. So the next exercise is really going to target the uh, shoulder girdle here. Uh, you can do this standing or sitting down. It doesn't matter because we're focused up here. And it's a simple exercise. And what we're going to do is hold the weights down here by the bottom. We're going to do a bicep curl and then palms out. Push it straight up. Come back down 90 degrees. Curl it in and let the arms fall and do it all over again. Let's get to work. Roll those shoulders back and down. Bicep curl, palm out, push it up. Curl it in. Bring it up, palms out, push it up. Curl it in. Up, punch, there you go. Nice smooth movements. Keep the elbows soft throughout. Don't lock those elbows at any time. And rest, roll those shoulders, shake it off. Let's get ready to do that one more time. Bicep curl, pull it out, punch it up. Yeah, those 15 seconds seem really long today. Either we add some music or we shorten that 15 seconds. We'll see what happens next time. Let's go. Keep it up, roll it down, curl up, open it up, push it up, come in, close it, and let it fall. Nice job everybody, grab a sip of water while we start our next set of exercises. This one here is called the good morning with a pull up. So this is going to be working our hips and our back. So what I'd like you to do is have a chair or a low table and put your weights down onto the chair. You're going to stand in front of the chair. Your knees are soft. You're going to fold forward, grab those weights, bring them up tight to your chest, and then stand up nice and tall. Use your core to bring yourself up. Let's get ready to go. Follow me, roll those shoulders back and down. Fold, bring up the weights, stand nice and tall, fold back, bring the weights down. Let's repeat, up, stand, fold, here we go, we got it now, let's keep it up. Fold. Finish this one off and rest. Roll those shoulders back, loosen up those hips. Let's get ready for the next set. Fold, let the weights fall, bring it up, come all the way up. Fold, let the weights fall, bring it up. You got it. Keep it up. And let's finish. 
finish it off. Great stuff. We're going to give our body a little bit of a break here. We're going to do an isolation exercise. We're going to focus on our triceps. You can do this from your chair if you like, if you're feeling a little tired. Otherwise, come into this skier's pose with like a half squat type thing and your knees are bent. You're going to lock those elbows into the hips. Visualize yourself nailing them right in because I don't want to see these elbows moving around during this exercise. Lock it in, kick it back. Just like that. Up and back. Focus on this muscle right here behind your arm called the tricep. Let's get ready to go. Lock those elbows in, roll those shoulders back and down, extend the neck and kick it out. there come on focus on those triceps and rest come up roll those shoulders shake it off let's get ready to do that one more time fold into the skiers pose locking those elbows kick it back Kick it back, squeeze those triceps, get it going. We're almost there. Here we go. Three, two, come on, one more. Nice job. All right. So just like we have a split deadlift, we have a split squat and I am going to demonstrate this by using the chair for balance. Now I would encourage you to do the same but that's up to you. You're only going to need one weight for this exercise. So I'm going to hold the chair with my left hand and I am going to get into this split stance. Um, I'm going to make sure that my weight is right in the center. I'm not sitting on my front leg, you know, standing on my front leg or my rear leg. It is just in the center. The stance, perhaps a little wider than the first, uh, the split deadlift, but not by much. And this exercise is simply to go up and down and up. Come down and come straight up. That's it. There's a tendency for people doing this for the first time to fold over. And you know what? That's okay. Go ahead and do that for now. Just try to keep your gaze forward and get to the point where you're doing this exercise looking up rather than looking down. But don't fight it if this is your first time doing it. Let's get ready to go. Roll those shoulders back and down. And down. And up. job everybody let's get ready to do that on the other side I am going to flip my chair around holding the weight on my other hand get ready to change the stagger position 
Roll those shoulders back and down. Here we go. Up and down. If your heel wants to come off the floor, that's okay. Just work at this for a while and you'll find that the heel will stay down a little more each and every time you do this. It really is all about consistency and breathe. Keep it up. Nice job, everybody. We've got one strength training exercise left and we're gonna get into our yoga. Uh, you're only going to need the one dumbbell for this. And this is what I call a functional move. So I don't want you to give this too much attention. Your body knows what it needs to do here. You're simply going to come into this little, little half squat. What I don't want you to do is bend over to pick up the weight. That's, that's not how we're supposed to lift weights. We're supposed to lift weights with our legs, right? So come down, get that weight off the chair, bring it up to your chest, and then thrust it up to the sky, engaging just about every muscle in our body. We're gonna do that twice, alternating hands each time we do it. So let's get ready to go. Roll those shoulders back and down. Come down to this little half squat, bring it up, thrust. Bring that weight down, switch hands, bring it back up again, and thrust. Bring it up, and punch. Bring it down, bring it up, let's go. Now this is a great exercise that you could progress gradually putting uh, bigger and bigger weights on, heavier weights really gets everything working. Punch. Bring it up and punch and rest. Let's get ready to do that one last time. Then we're gonna get into some yoga. Start to move things around here. Put that weight down, roll those shoulders back, knees are soft, let's get ready. Little half squat, grab that weight and kick it up. Down we go, and up, punch. Let's go. Last one, finish it off. Nice job, everybody. Let's get rid of the weights. Grab a little sip of water. Let's get ready for a quick, quick stretch out here. sit comfortably in our chair, scooch up to the front of the chair, you're going to need some room behind you, roll those shoulders back and down, hands on your thighs, this is the position that I'm going to call neutral, so let's get ready for our first move where we bring our arms up and really visualize yourself stretching, I really want you to feel the stretch from the pinky all the way down to the hips, it can really feel that way if you stretch hard enough. Big breath here, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Fold forward, let those fingertips slide along the floor and bring them behind you like a jet plane. Hold it here for just a couple of seconds and then bring it back up again and reach. Fold forward. Bring it behind you like a jet plane and bring it up. Reach up to the sky, fold. 
Breathe behind you. And reach up. Last one. Reach, reach, big stretch. And release. Now I want you to extend the leg. I don't want you to stretch it out. I just want you to extend it a little bit. Doesn't matter which leg. We're going to do it on both sides. And now I just want you to fold forward and reach down towards your shoelaces. That's really it. Come all the way down. Reach. Feel that stretch behind the knee and your low back. And hold here. I tend to hold my stretches for the video for you know five to seven seconds. But when you're doing these at home and by yourself, Hold them for as long as it feels comfortable. Up to 20 seconds would be ideal. Let's do it on the other leg. Reach down, don't put a lot of weight on that hand. Feel the stretch behind the knee and in the low back. And breathe. Come up, roll those shoulders back and down. Now we're going to get into a yoga pigeon pose. Chair yoga pigeon pose is simply crossing your legs. And I don't want you to leave the leg, uh, your, your ankle on your knee. Tuck it up a couple of inches here. Now the exercise, this particular stretch has two parts to it. The first is we can put a little bit of pressure on that knee, not too much, particularly if you've had hip surgery, just a little bit of pressure. And then if you like it, if you can, fold forward and really feel that stretch along the IT band here, up to the knee, into the hips. Hold and release. We're going to do one more on this side, bring that leg up. Let's put some weight down on that knee just slightly just enough to feel the stretch and now let's fold forward And release. Last one here. So follow me this time. I'm going to put my left hand on my right knee and then I'm going to take my right hand and I'm going to swing it behind me, grabbing the chair as if I'm looking around and backing up a car. Nice big stretch here. Try to drop the shoulders. I just realized my shoulders are all shrugged up. Bring them down and release. Roll those shoulders back and down, come into center. Nice big breath. Come to the other side and let's go around to the other side. and release. Folks, I want to thank you for coming by. If you have any ideas, any suggestions, if you'd like these videos to be shorter or longer, please let me know. Again, you're in complete control here. Stop the video, do the exercise three times, four times, sometimes five times. When I'm at the gym and I don't feel very creative, I'll do the same exercise five times. So listen, have a wonderful day and we'll be in touch.